So it has been a very insightful day and let me place on record my sincere thanks and gratitude to such a wonderful audience who has been listening patiently and tirelessly. In another five minutes from now, we'll be starting the India Sustainability Awards. And uh, we are blessed to have both the members, the chairman of the jury and the jury member both with us. Member of the jury is likely to join in another five, seven minutes. The chairman of the jury is already here with us, Madam Ruma Balwani, brand and communication specialist and former senior advisor of Vedanta Group. In the current session, uh, starting from five minutes from now, we'll have the special address by the guests. May I please request the, address, the special address by the guest. May I please request Dr. Rajiv Sharmaji to come on the dais, who is Chief Advisor to Government of Telangana. Please give him a big round of applause. May I please request Madam Roma Balwani, Brand and Communication Specialist and former Senior Advisor to Vedanta Group to come on the dais. Just to remind you again, uh, Madam Roma Balwani, she had been the chairman of the jury and uh, may I please request Hussain Kumarji to take the seat on the dais. And uh, another five minutes from now, we'll be expecting Madam Valerie Pinto, who is uh, CEO of Weber Shanwick India. She's likely to join us in. I just got a call from her. So in another five minutes from now, she'll be joining us. So, may I? May I please request Mr. Rusen Kumar to deliver the opening address. So, thank you, Dr. Rana Ji. Today's session is very good. And the ESG is simplifying the society for the society. This topic is so much a complex topic. This is simplifying this conference. हमें काफी कुछ क्लारिटी मिली होगी एनवायरनमेंट सस्टेनेबिलिटी और कार्पेट एजेंडा सोसाइटल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी इंडिविजुअल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी सो दिस इस टाइम फॉर इंडिया सस्टेनेबिलिटी अवार्ड्स सो देर सो मेनी इनोवेशन आल्सो गोइंग ऑन इन दी विद इन डी इंडस्ट्री सो इंडिया सीएसआर has established the India Sustainability Award, and this year uh, uh, the award is uh, the jury chair is uh, Roma Balwani ji. Roma ji uh, is a senior veteran in this uh, uh, sector, brand communication, sustainability, CSR, and uh, the the. The whole life is dedicated to this uh, communication, CSR, sustainability, uh, the sector. So, at uh, India CSR, we believe that the all responsible companies are required to initiate and engage in numerous initiatives to maximize environmental footprint from product development to production and finally disposal or discharge. So, we at uh, India CSR envision that uh, companies are committed to uh, is solving complex challenges on the global uh, scale, contributing to a more sustainable world. We view companies' sustainability efforts as an investment for the uh, collective future. 
nowadays sustainability management is a fundamental part of organization growth in a rapid uh, changing business uh, uh, environment so in this uh, environment a positive approach benefits competitiveness and lays the foundation for better long term future for all uh, us so the vision of the this uh, uh, award is to aspire to be a credible sustainability award in the country so that uh, uh, the best practices can be uh, highlighted for the society and uh, the mission of the the india sustainability award is to recognize and reward excellence towards sustainability best practices of businesses so uh, now i am uh, inviting roma ji uh, to say few words uh, about his uh, vision uh, toward the india sustainability award thank you Thank you, Rosenji, and uh, my fellow panelists here, Dr. Sharma, and uh, distinguished guests and awardees who are here. It's so nice to see that uh, people have taken the efforts to come here. And uh, what we are doing is we are doing this first India Sustainability Awards in two parts. We are going to do a felicitation of certain key sustainability champions uh, who are not really representative of the entire. awards that we have uh, finalized we will be having a virtual ceremony as well uh, which will happen on a later date because people coming still from covid affected areas were not able to travel so we have accommodated that but just to give you a little bit of a insight on the entire jury process we were very overwhelmed with the response and the kind of diligence that we saw on the corpus giving us and there were some gems some things that we possibly did not know some things that we learned so the jury jury deliberations became much more wholesome and the judging process that we are now following and will follow in the future as well is to see how people can demonstrate standards and best practices how can they really bring innovation in their processes which can show impact and that is to do with sustainable practices yes there is environment there is social performance there is governance and right through the day i heard many companies sharing their best practices and i think those are the companies who have really taken a step forward and they also know that sustainability does not draw out of the business it draws in the business your top line gets impacted your bottom line gets impacted very positively earlier sustainability was looked at as something that we had to tick a box and i remember many years back when at vedanta we started this whole process of sustainable development i have my colleague nitesh here uh nitesh and i did a lot of work at vedanta and we saw that we had so much to to communicate what we didn't do in the past was while we were doing the best sustainability practices we were not communicating so please also don't be shy of communicating your best practices because that's how you're also sharing the best practices and making people learn what they can imbibe from what you do especially in the mining sector that we both belong it is very important that we as listed companies have to follow a regulatory process and we are completely straight jacketed because of that but that also gives us an opportunity and we got that many years back as an indian company listed in in uh, the london stock exchange many indian mining companies don't re realize the kind of regulatory requirements people spoke about gri uh, certifications people spoke about many other certifications which are required they are important but don't look at it as a tick box because if you don't do this with passion and and i heard mitesh and everybody else say that you will never be able to walk the talk you have to have your leadership interventions you must have the leadership imbibing the values I still remember one of the sustainability days I had in London, and that was for the Vedanta Group. 
we actually invited all the socially responsible investors, we invited all the NGOs, and we explained to them what we do. And this was way back 10 years back. And we haven't looked back since. And many companies today we see are imbibing those best practices. So with that, I won't stand in your way between the exciting awards of some of the sustainable champions who possibly have been working, uh, you know, and not being coming to the forefront. So we're not calling all the leaders, but we're calling some of the operational heads as well. So I think let's go into the awards straight away and thank you all for being here. And I'll hand over to my colleague. Thank you very much. Now is the moment uh, for announcing the India Sustainability Awards 2022. I take this opportunity to thank uh, Rosen Kumarji for bestowing this responsibility to me. So the first company is Minda Corporation Limited for Environmental Sustainability. May I please request Praveen Kar. Please join your hands together. I think we can join our hands together to make this evening more memorable. Congratulations, Praveen Karti, on behalf of Minda Corporation. The next organization is Orem for Tech Implementation in ESG Performance, Tech Innovation. May I please request Abhirup Das from Orem Group. Please join your hands together. Now may I please request somebody from Chetak Foundation, Shri Sachin Haritesh Ji, Director of Chetak Logistics and Arun Arora Ji to come on stage. Please join your hands together. Congratulations, Chetak Foundation, for doing splendid work year after year. Yes, next is Atmiya University for promoting sustainable practices. May I request somebody on behalf of Shri Tripathi to come and receive the award? So we may join our hands together once again. May I please request Mr. Kumod Kumar from CIMB Patna for receiving India CSR Award for the Beautiful Minds. Please join 
Join your hands together. May I please request Mr. Arvind Agarwal, founder and CEO of AICL Communication, for focus on sustainability reporting. Mr. Arvind Agarwal. Please join your hands together. May please request some representative from Delivery. Delivery has got this award for focus on CSR and sustainability. I think he's not here. May please request Dalmia Cement, Dr. Satish Mishra, Head of Sustainability from Dalmia Cement, for their commitment on net zero carbon emission. Dr. Satish Mishra from Dalmian Cement. Next is Jindal Steel for their focus on circular economy. Mr. Ravindra from Jindal Steel. Please join our hands together. Next organization is Can India for their focus on CSR and sustain sustainability. May I please request Harmit Shehra ahead CSR. Join your hands together to congratulate all the recipients. The next award goes to Nestle India for their focus on environmental sustainability. May I please request the members from Nestle India Limited to come and receive the award. I will request the audience to join their hands and give a big round of applause. Congratulations. The next recipient is Ms. Angela Chitkara, who has been recognized as Women Leader for Global Sustainability Communications. Big round of applause. Next award goes to Madam Kiran Sarkar, Women Leader for ESG Commitment. <coughs> Madam Kiran Sarkar, okay, thanks. Now may I please, uh, this is time for the partners of the event to be recognized. May I please request uh, the last awardee, SBI Foundation, 
for their focus on ESR, ESG and CSR, Mr. Amal Bhaiya. request uh, Sri Rusen Kumarji to felicitate Dr. Sharma for his outstanding contributions. Dr. Rajiv Sharma, please. Big round of applause, please. Rusenji, camera, please. We have a group photograph of all the award recipients at the end. May I please request uh, the partners to come and receive their award one by one. First one is uh, Jindal Steel and Power. Anybody from Jindal Steel and Power? Brilio. Anybody from Brilio? Then Good Govern. Jindal is here. Oh, please. May I please request Dr. Raji Ranjan to come on the dais to receive on behalf of CIMP. Representative of Brelio to come on the dais, please. Brelio. <coughs> Not there. Not there. May I request representative from Carbon Negative to come on the dais. Carbon Negative. May I please request a recipient from SR Group to come and receive the partner memento, please? Anybody from SR Group? So, thanks to all the recipients and congratulations to one and all. Now, I will request Sri Ramakrishna Ganeshji, founder of Carbon Negative Company, to come and deliver the word of thanks. May I please? Okay. Before uh, Mr. Ramakrishna Ganesh uh, delivers the word of thanks, here is the opportunity to all the recipients to come and share their views. One minute each. Anyone who wishes to come and share? Every, everyone, everyone. Everyone, one by one. Thank you. So I think that was the best one. So, Praveen Kern to start with. Big round of applause for Praveen Kern, please. Thank you very much, Ranaji. Thank you, Rusenji and India CSR for giving away this award to Minda Corporation Limited. Sustainability ESG practices, these are the DNA of the organization, 
and we have been doing it for a couple of decades. We have done 25,000 plantations with a typical SOP, ascending, uh, you know, operating pra practice with, with which we have been doing it in southern part, western part, and northern part of the country. And uh, we have, uh, you know, removed close to 10 lakh kg of carbon as per the calculation, standard calculation with this project. Uh, we have also been doing a lot of uh, other practices like energy saving, reduce, recycle, reuse, water conservation. We have uh, paper saving drives, uh, solar energy, renewable energy practices, and there are many other uh, sustainability projects which are there. We have a way to go. It's just a beginning. And thank you very much for the acknowledgement through this platform. It really encourages us to do a lot more. Thank you very much, Ranaji. My one minute is over. So maybe on his behalf, the next recipient can come down here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your one minute is over. <laughs> no, you can raise. Uh, now may I please request somebody from Oren, Mr. Abhinub Das, and let us stick to one minute. We can keep it 55 seconds, but not make it 65. Thank you. So I'll not take more than 30 seconds. Time. So, anyway, thanks, Idea CSR and the IAC Summit, and everyone uh, here for appreciating what we are doing on the technology side. And as we have already mentioned and had a detailed discussion on how technology adoption can help in this ESG phenomenon. So, that's why like, we hope uh, more and more companies and corporates are aligning to that uh, methodology. And thanks. That's it. Now may I please request uh, Sri Rusen Kumarji to felicitate Madam Roma Balwani, the jury of the chair. <coughs> Big round of applause, please. Yes. I think bring the next award of Madam Melody Pinto as well. She has been assisting me, so she must be here. Thank you for making it, ma'am. She is Valerie Pinto, CEO of Weber Shandri Kenya. Despite her busy schedule, she could finally make it. May I please request to come and deliver a few words as a member of the jury. Over to you. She is CEO of Weber Shandrik India, so over to you now. So thank you uh, India CSR team and India CSR uh, Summit uh, for having me here. I think it was so inspiring to see all the work that we saw. Uh, you know, the work that each one of you are doing and some of you are doing on the ground is just commendable and I think there's a lot more that one needs to do uh, given that ESG is the most important um, mantra for every organization as well as every corporate as we go into building a zero carbon and a zero uh, harm uh, world that we are going to live in. So thank you for giving me this opportunity and uh, I'm really proud to have looked at all the work and I'm proud of all of you who submitted the work as well. Thank you. Thank you very much for such short and sweet thoughts. Now, we will continue with the same series. May I please request Sri Sachin Haritesh Director of Chetak Logistics, to come and share his thoughts. I would like to thank my wife, I would like to thank my parents, I would like to thank my dog. Sorry, on a serious note, <laughs> we are really humbled at the Foundation for being honored. Thank you, Lucien, thank you, Julie, Roma, Valerie. Uh, it's a touching gesture and it will really encourage us because we want to focus on welfare of underprivileged truck drivers. 
and we are hoping to touch lives of 1 million drivers for their welfare and especially for getting respect to them. That is what we are aiming for and we need your wishes. Thank you and this is very encouraged. Thank you very much. Now, may I please request uh, Arvind Agarwal, founder and CEO of AICL Communication. May I have a big round of applause for him? So, uh, good evening everyone and uh, thank you very much for this appreciation and honor. Grateful to Rosen, grateful to Roma and Valerie uh, for considering us and reaching out and uh, uh, recognizing what I believe is a 15 year journey on helping Indian companies understand the importance of sustainability and working with many of you in the room uh, to bring it to life and showcase it to the world. Uh, so not many may know but, but when sustainability and ESG were not such buzzwords We've been working tirelessly along with corporates who are very, very serious about it to produce sustainability related work, internal campaigns, volunteering work, as well as now a lot of globally benchmarked uh, uh, reporting that's designed to improve sustainability ratings as well as uh, meet the filters of global investors. So thank you very much and uh, you know thanks to all our clients who've put the faith in us and hopefully we'll be able to continue to do this going forward once again very very grateful and thank you thank you so much now may I please request mr Hussain kumar to felicitate our member of the jury madam valerie pinto over to you Hussain kumar -ji. May I please request the audience to give a big round of applause. May, may I please request Mr. Aman Bhaiya from SBI Foundation to come and share his thoughts <coughs> quickly. Over to you. Thank you India CSR team and it is very heartening to see so many people gather here after a long COVID induced lockdown and almost two years we are I think one of the first uh, summits to be in person. So it is heartening as well as encouraging to see so many like minded organizations and individuals working towards saving the planet. As uh, SBI employee we are very uh, committed towards uh, working towards the same goal of SDG uh, 2030s and among that we have uh, one very important uh, aim uh, to contribute all our resources as well as time towards saving uh, our planet and as mentioned among all the initiatives I would not take much uh, time as only one minute has been given to us. So among all the initiatives that we fund some of the key ones are like we have adopted a red panda species for its conservation. So I request all of you to google it and you know share something about red panda as a species which is less uh, known among Indians. It is you know uh, present in Darjeeling and Sikkim region. Then second initiative which I think some of you would be interested in is a Maharashtra startup challenge is going on where climate change is one of the themes where we are inviting all startups to apply and uh, at SDI we are supporting the incubation uh, program with Atal Innovation Center. So all interested startups in your circle or some of you must be here today can apply. Last date is 6 June. So uh, with this I would like to thank you for coming and thank India CSR team also uh, for recognizing our efforts. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Now may please request uh, Harmeet Sehra, head CSR from Kane India Limited to come and share her thoughts. May I request the audience to join your hands together to welcome her. Being the only female candidate on stage, apart from the jury, I'll take more than a minute. 
Uh, good evening, Ms. Ainsa. Thank you so much for calling and the jury members and everybody sitting here. Thank you so much. I am very privileged to be here. Uh, mostly, I am a backseater sitting at the uh, at the ground level working quietly as Rama ma'am said. So while uh, Rusen said that I have to speak, I had to literally run down my pen to stick it to one minute. So, <laughs> so I just read it out what I have to spend on in the last few minutes. So basically I am from Kane or in Gaz Vedanta Limited, heading the CSR environment where I am running across four states. Uh, sustainability is an evolving journey at Kane where each initiative is critically curated to be aligned with the SDG goals which is further synergized into our organization's uh, ESG goals right now. And I am very proud to be a part, as Pandeji was saying, the chairman is everything progressed from the chairman and he is so active and getting us into all the information and how they are clubbing up things. Today we already have set up our goals till 2030 we are going to touch 30 million people through our CSR and ESG already. And it's already pent down, as Pandeji said, we have already made the KPIs. So that's one part of it. Secondly, I would also like to say that during our two years of pandemic, uh, surprisingly, we entire team had come out with very innovative ideas we'd like to share with you. Of course, in pandemic, we did a lot of work with the government as well as with the uh, district authorities as well as uh, supporting from the chairman. We got non-stop that we could really support everybody in and around Barmet district and areas around where I have been working in Rajasthan. And we came up with an innovative idea of e-kaksha also, which I would like to share in a few minutes. E-kaksha is anybody could just go down and just uh, Google it up. What we started was ki we started with classes for 6 to 12 classes. We took all the information and the syllabuses for 6 to 12 children in Rajasthan. And we brought it down to you know showing it online. And 15-20 uh, minutes, we, we, we just broke out the entire chapters and 15-20 minutes of each chapter. But we never knew it would go so wide that today the entire government of Rajasthan has adopted it and they are showing it in each school of 23 districts and it's gone beyond that across the entire nation. And today I think we have more than 9 crore touching that viewers who are actually seeing and studying through e-kaksha. And that's something we are really proud about what we did it during pandemic. Uh, of course, there are lots more, but you can always check up and I would speak much. But today, whatever it could be possible, I would only thank our chairman who is so grounded and he's so visionary. And uh, whatever we are doing today, the entire CSR team at the ground, uh, with so much of dedication and passion, is only thanks to our chairman. And of course, our supporters, uh, like Roma ma'am, she's always been there putting cherry on all the work we do silently at the ground. <laughs> thank you so much, Hussain. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so very much. Now may I please request representative from Nestle India. May I request the audience to give a big round of applause for Nestle India. Good evening, everyone. First of all, uh, thank you uh, to India CSR for uh, giving us the opportunity. And uh, basically, it's a pleasure to be awarded uh, as the India Sustainability Champion. So, uh, basically, preserving uh, the planet is viewed in the pur purpose of Nestle. Uh, and we remain committed to integrating uh, the environment uh, into our uh, business planning. So, uh, basically, we are actively uh, involved in engaging the farmers, uh, the consumers, uh, the employees and the suppliers uh, on increasing the awareness of the environment. Similarly, Nestle has accelerated a sustainability journey in four areas. Uh, it's basically water, uh, packaging, uh, sourcing and uh, climate. Uh, Nestle India, most of the brands are plastic neutral, uh, which is basically, uh, which means whatever quantity we are selling, or we are generating uh, that much quantity we are taking from the field and we are recycling. So once again, thank you, Rosinji, thank you, Umarji, and thank you, Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the last word goes to Ms. Angela Chitkara. Over to you. Give her a big round of applause. She has traveled all the way from the United States of America. Well, especially for this event. So, a big round of applause once again.
very much. Um, thank you, Roma. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Rustin. Thank you, Andy and, and his CSR for this um, uh, lovely, uh, unexpected uh, recognition. Uh, the environment uh, is ripe for this work in diversity, equity, and inclusion and ESG. Uh, the world can learn a lot uh, from the sustainability practices here in India. Its ability to engage in spirited discussions, drive for innovation, and empathetic leadership. And ESG and DEI uh, tie to business imperatives and objectives. Those objectives tie to corporate reputation, building trust, talent recruitment and retention. Bottom line, it ties to people uh, and the planet. Um, so here we are um, together, and the work that we do um, needs to be embedded in everything that we do. So what's foundational is diversity, equity, and inclusion. Thank you. Yes, uh, the organizer is now giving the last opportunity. Anybody from the audience who would like to share some thoughts, views, and left for the day. Anybody from the audience who would like to share their views, thoughts? So I think they are already very thoughtful and insane. Pardon? Group picture? Good of thanks, Gipale. Word of thanks, Okay, so may I request all the bodies to come on the dais to after word of thanks. After word of thanks, I request all the bodies to come. Uh, now I'll request Mr. Ramakrishna Ganesh, who is founder of Carbon Negative, as well as Seven Trees for Life, and is also a Guinness Book Record holder for Plog Run, conducting a Plog Run. Big, big round of applause for him. Over to you, sir. All right, thank you. Uh, so, uh, you mentioned Seven Trees for Life. Uh, I don't know how many of you know Seven Trees for Life. I just wanted to take a quick uh, minute to tell you about Seven Trees for Life. Uh, uh, how many of you know how much oxygen do you consume in a year? I know it's free, but uh, so, let me <laughs> so let me tell you, so only people realize the oxygen value during the COVID time. Um, every human sitting here consumes about 9.1 tons of oxygen. Uh, in a year, and out of this 23%, which is 743 kgs of oxygen, is delivered to you by trees, and uh, that is delivered to you by seven trees. That is why we launched a company called uh, Seven Tree for Life. So our idea is to every human who is living on this earth at least has to plant seven trees for their own oxygen, their life space. So yeah, that's Seven Trees for Life. <laughs> Anyway, good evening and uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for uh, being here today. I, I know it's a long day. Everybody has been, uh, <clears throat> uh, we didn't even give a lunch break. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much for all your patience and being here today. Uh, on behalf of uh, India CSR, I would like to uh, thank um, all our honorable delegates who uh, their presence here at the conference uh, and the advisory committee members and the invited speakers, words are not enough to thank their um, constant guidance and support uh, to make this conference a great success. <clears throat> On behalf of the organizing committee, we really thank you. Uh, thank you to the jury. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you. So at an event, um, an event of this dimension cannot happen overnight. The wheels started rolling once in advance. We've been uh, fortunate enough to be backed by a team of uh, motivated, dedicated, uh, team, uh, we want to thank each and everyone. I cannot thank everyone enough for the involvement they have shown and the willingness they have expressed to take this uh, completion of tasks beyond their comfort zones. Thank you everyone. And I am very much thankful to our partners. It would not have been possible without them to put a show like this. Um, uh, Jindal Steel and Power, Brilio, Impact Dash, Oren, Good Govern, Updock, Cup. Coast Carbon Negative, Seven Tree for Life, The Groundwater Company, CIMP, Boruka, Vision Spring, Atme University, Symbiosis Institute of Operation Management, Chetak Foundation, um, 
and Ratangao STEM MASH Center for Arbitration and Research, MNLU, Mumbai, um, and Economy India Login and CSRbooks.com. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, all the sponsors or the partners who made this possible today. I'd also like to thank the auditorium in charge, Raju Gujarati, who's been really supportive to make this uh, conference. In fact, you all are sitting here comfortably because they're doing a lot of work at the back end to make sure that uh, we are not feeling the heat here in Mumbai. Yeah, at the end, I would like to thank my counterpart, Rusen Ji, the founder of India, CSR. Please join hands to you know, congratulate him on successful completion of the first ESR summit, ESG summit, which uh, uh, finally we are all here today. I know uh, this is the first ESG summit uh, in India. Uh, this is just a beginning for all of us. I think we will have uh, many more to come, and we need more audience to come together to you know work towards the sustainability goal. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, and uh, I know. If time was the money, then today you guys have spent billion, billions of rupees with us today. I think thank you so much to all of you and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Ram, for such elaborate word of thanks. And the last thanks goes to coronavirus for resting in peace to allow all of us to remain active. With these words, I'll request all our recipients and awardees to come on the dais uh, along with their awards to have a group photograph. Over to all of you, quickly. Because coronavirus also deserves some thanks.